And of course, like we just mentioned, it is bee swarming season in Las Vegas Fire and Rescue reports. Swarms of bees have already been spotted all over the city. 13 Action News reporter Kelsey McFarland talked with a local beekeeper about what you should do if you come across a swarm. Kelsey. Yeah, Kalina, tis the season for bees to split up colonies and multiply. So don't be surprised if you see a swarm hanging near a tree branch or the eave of your home. Mark Rubin is director of Gilcrease Farms and a beekeeper. He has 16 hives, which may hold up to 20,000 bees each. But in the summertime, they'll have up to 50 to 80,000 bees. He says bees are a necessary part of our ecosystem. The reason we need bees is if you didn't have any pollination, you wouldn't have any fruit, you wouldn't have any apples, peaches, pears, or pomegranates or anything like that. A lot of things we grow. Ruben says if you see a swarm, leave it alone. It's only temporary. They're usually only there for a day or two while they're sending out a search party to find a more permanent location. If that swarm starts to intrude on your home, that's when it's time to call a professional. Just have somebody come and take care of it. You know, it's not worth putting it off and letting a neighbor's dog or somebody's child get uh, mauled by these uh, bees. Daniel Millett runs Bee Master of Las Vegas. He says Las Vegas is home to Africanized bees, which are smaller but more aggressive, so tread lightly. The Africanized bees attack mucous membrane carbon dioxide, so if you breathe, if you find yourself being attacked by a swarm, Millette says find a cold place. Bees have an exoskeleton, right? Their bones are on the outside. And so they don't oxidize. They've got a layer of oil, just like fingerprints. And so when that oil goes from 100 degrees to 50 degree freon, it tightens up and it constricts the bees. So if you run into AC, they can't really chase you. Now the same goes for if you have a hive near your home. Beekeepers say bees love making homes out of insulation, valve boxes, even dog houses at some points. Now you'll want to call a professional. They can help relocate those bees for you. Reporting live, I'm Kelsey McFarland, 13 Action News.